Southern Drizzle back again. I'm so excited, y'all. We're about to do some amazing sugar cookies. Ah! Okay, here are the ingredients. And let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna start with our dry ingredients as usual. We got two and three fourth cups of all purpose flour. Oh, taking me a long time to get that done. Okay, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt, and we're gonna whisk it all together. Oh my gosh, I am cheesy whiskey business, really? Okay, <laughs> get that away, get that out of here. Okay, so then we wanna start our wet ingredients. We want two sticks or one cup of room temperature butter, room temperature one cup of sugar and two tablespoons of brown sugar. And this is what's gonna make them soft and chewy. Now we're gonna cream the butters and the sugars together. I really wanted to take my time here to show you guys. It's gonna take a minute to cream everything together. These sticks of butter were a little harder than I wanted. So that means I had to do a little bit of work. But you see that texture there? We don't want that texture. That's more of a bread crumby texture. So we want to continue to cream until both or all three ingredients are well combined. Yeah, look at that. Keep on going, Shug. Get that arm a workout. Okay, so you see how it's starting to come together now? Now it's starting to look creamy. That's what we want. Yeah, we're good. So then we're going to continue with one large egg and two teaspoons of my homemade vanilla. Once again, I'm going to show you guys how to make that. And we're going to keep mixing. Going to mix, 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 mix. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to add our dry ingredients. Look at this. It's so easy, y'all. How many ingredients we have? Like what? Four, five, six? Come on. And just mix it together. Now this is another shot I wanted you to see because of all the flour you would think. Oh my gosh, this is not coming together. And it has this bread crummy texture. No, no, no. Trust the process. Just keep on mixing. Keep on going. And you'll start to see just like with the creaming process, how everything will come together. And it's going to be hard for that mixer. <laughs> So you wanna roll evenly into little balls. And I just wanted to show you that even though I don't like to do it, you can roll them in sprinkles, you can roll it in sugar, anything you want. And I'm just gonna do the top three here and roll those in that pink sugar because pink is my favorite color. Pink is my favorite color. Okay, and we're gonna bake on 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. And look at how these came out. Now, one thing to note, you want to look at the brown edges. You don't want to have the brown on top. Let's see where that brown is about to creep up on the edge. That means that they are perfect. Look, look closely, like right there. That's what you want to see whenever you're baking these cookies. Do not let that brown creep up on the side. So rest in that hot pan and then cool to the wire rack. And look at this finished result, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I break the cookie the wrong way, but hopefully I turn it around. Yeah, yeah, I do. And look at that texture, y'all. Look at how easy this breaks. Look how chewy. Oh my gosh, it's so soft and chewy. Oh, and don't forget I did the pink one so you can see exactly how it looks when it's rolled in the sugar. And it looks so pretty. And it doesn't change, of course, the consistency of the cookie. They just sit on top for decoration. They add a little bit of sweetness. Not my preference, but they look cute. Oh my gosh, these videos keep getting shorter. <laughs> but that's all for today, guys. So if you liked what you saw, just subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys the next video. Take care.